Alright, uh, welcome everyone. This is For Free here. I'm going to do a, hopefully a really quick video and rundown of what to expect and what not to expect, I guess, when doing these well drilling bits and scrapping them and kind of what to look for mainly when I go to pick up a load. Now I want to try and give you an idea as to like how how much variable is there is that you can get in uh, extracting carbide from these. And it's why I never really give an exact number is because we get so many different types of bits. So here we have 12 spline bits, we have an eight spline bit, eight spline, eight spline, eight spline, 12 spline bit. Now the eight spline bits, the well industry generally does not use anymore, especially around here. They haven't used them for 30 some odd years. As you can see here, I actually have a brand new one. Um, again, the, the well drilling rigs, they just don't use these anymore. They're not designed to, they don't, they, they don't come equipped to use eight spline bits anymore. The mainstay is, is these 12 splines. Um, another variable that you will definitely come across is where in the country and who was running these drill bits. Um, I, I find the farther north you go, you will get more rundown drill bits that look, uh, well, very similar to this one and very similar to this one, the further north you go. The further south, uh, on, the, on the eastern seaboard anyway, they're generally not run as much. You can generally get a little bit more carbide out of them. On the southeast, you will generally get less bits that are less run. Um, towards the northeast, they definitely run these a lot more, a lot deeper, and if they're a lot longer. Uh, places like I was talking to a fella in Canada, he said that when he gets his scrap drill bits, they basically come to them almost brand new, like they still have the paint on them and everything. Uh, obviously, that's not the case here. Here goes two, basically the exact same bits, but one's been run, one has not. And you can see the difference in the amount of carbide that is still sticking up above this one versus this one that, that has clearly been worn down and they've been resharpened, so you've taken a lot of the carbide off there. There's probably almost a half a pound difference between these two bits because this one has been sharpened and rerun. Could even be more in some cases. Um, again, this one has 20 buttons. This one has 16. So we actually have two of the exact same bits here. One is a 12 spline, one is an 8 spline. This one has 20 buttons in it, this one has 16. You know, even one button after 100 bits is is a huge difference. So, like, that's, that's, a, that's a big variable. That's probably almost a quarter of a pound difference in carbine between these two bits. And here we have 5 inchers, and they're both, they both have 16 buttons in them. This one is actually a 12 spline, and here you have actually 20 buttons. Here, even though it's a smaller bit, you've got... 20 buttons minus one because obviously this one has chipped off so again you've got 20 buttons in this one you've got 16 buttons in this one uh, here the difference is the difference between both these eight splines is this one actually has 16 buttons and this one has 18 buttons so you're talking a huge amount of variables when deciding you know do I want to buy this material looking at it you know, I have to make the decision because a lot of, like, this is a good set of scrap here. A lot of times, though, you'll get a lot of bits that are missing, you know, half the face worth of buttons. Or they're, or they're incapable, the steel has actually rolled over the, the top radius of the button, act, actually encasing it in the drill bit. I can't do anything with that. There's really no easy way to get that carbide out. So, if I get one or two that are missing, you know, more than three or four pieces of carbide, I generally let it slide. But if it starts coming up with, you know, five, six, seven, I have to put them off to the side and, and give a different price. I don't nitpick with, with well drillers. I generally go up there, I'm straightforward, I put cash in their hand, I count them. I'd be very honest and direct. If I go into a well drilling yard, um, you know, into a scrap pot and start nitpicking, and I'll give you such and such for that, and I'll give you such and that, they're going to kick me off their fucking property, okay? So I don't do that. I'm direct, I'm straightforward, I try to be as honest as I, as I knowingly can be. I mean, there's no try, I am as honest as I can be. Um, I give probably double what scrap yards around here give for these. Like I said, $500 a ton, I think a normal scrap yard's only given like $160. So yeah, it's more than double. Um, but that is basically a rundown of what you can get. Now, you can also, as I extract the carbide, I also get these copper and brass shims. So, again, nothing goes to waste here. Uh, and if you need one more reference as to how how much it can sway, it can swing between a low yield and a high yield out of these drill bits, I want you to take a look at these two buttons. Now these are both carbide buttons right here. And you can see, you can clearly see, both these buttons actually came out of the exact same well drilling bits. So even when they go into the heads, they're not all the same size. And that 
that difference right there after 100 bits is, is phenomenal. It's it's a large difference. So these are all things that you have to keep in mind. Now, I'm going to give you a story of both my worst yield and my best yield out of a ton of well drilling bits. My best yield was, I think, 119 pounds of carbide out of a ton of well drilling heads. My worst yield was about 72 pounds of carbide out of a ton of well drilling bits. At, let's say, $10, even $10 a pound, which is about where the market is right now, that was huge. That's a huge difference, and it can really eat into your, into your pocket. Now, generally, I don't get those lows, and I certainly don't get those highs. But that's the kind of variables that I have to deal with when, when doing these. And it, it is very, very much a crapshoot. I cannot give you an accurate number. If I gave you an accurate number, I would absolutely be lying to you. Something I am going to do right now, I actually have bits uh, being prepped literally as we speak. I need to go get to them. Is What I'm going to do is if I can remember, I'm going to take, I'm going to take these two. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock out the carbide from this one. I'm going to knock out the carbide from this one. I'm going to hold these two separate and hopefully come back and either snippet that extra piece of video in showing you guys the, two, the difference between the two bits. I went ahead and actually weighed each bit. And here you see this one has 16 buttons. This is a brand new bit. It's at 35 pounds. Here we have 33.3 pounds. So uh, almost a two pound difference here um, between these two bits, between one being run and a brand new one and you can see here this see this one says five and an eight and this one here says 4.930 what that is is that's actually the gauge so if we take our calibers here so that's how you measure the gauge of these when you're looking for semi good used ones i don't really come across good used ones but occasionally i, I have i can't say i've never have but occasionally i do so here we got what 5.14 so that's five and an eighth easily. Um, here we have 4.930. So you can see how much has been actually taken off this outer edge here. Yeah, this one's dead on too. Yeah, 4.9 and some change. So that's the difference between basically a brand new one and a used one. Uh, once this gauge wears out, you can see how they tried to keep sharpening the, the, the tungsten carbide over and over again, which you can do. There's a way to do it. Um, so once, once this gauge wears out, basically the bit is done for at that point. And again, just depending on where, where you are in the country, it is really, and the kind of rock you're digging into and, and drilling into is really indicative of how much these things are going to be worn out. I am about ready to process these here in the next hour or two. And uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do some numbers. We'll run a little bit of math. We've gone ahead, we've uh, pulled the carbide out of each one, and this one is 16 pieces a piece. So this is the bag of the old stuff, this is the bag of the new stuff. We got my scale on. Uh, it's not really that sensitive to do small weights, but I think it's sensitive enough for you guys to get an idea here. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, weigh the bag of the drill bit, that's this one right here, and you can see the markings on them. Okay, these were the two bits. Uh, we're going to weigh this drill bit first. This was the one that was run, and this one here is the one that's new. So this one is the one that was run. We're going to put the carbide on there. We're going to see how much we come up with. We get 1.6 pounds, so 1 pound 6 ounces. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to take the next bag. This bag is 16 pieces of carbide that came out of this brand new one. And we get 2 pounds. 2 pounds exactly. So we got two pounds exactly out of a brand new bit with brand new button carbide buttons in it. And the one that was run had actually had about four ounces of carbide uh, shaved off the top just by being run and by being resharpened over the years, or over the course of its life. So we're talking a four ounce difference between a brand new bit with carbide and one that's been run and or, and or resharpened. Honestly, if these weren't resharpened, or it was only maybe one runs or run once, excuse me, I can't speak, you'd probably come up with 1.8 pounds. But that'll give you an idea as to the range and, you know, what you're going to come up with when doing these, what are some of the, the difficulties I face and, and sort of kind of in my brain seeing how much carbide I'm going to get. 
uh, it's a crapshoot, and I can't really give you an, a, a direct number because it's just not possible. It really, really isn't possible. Every time I do it, I make money. But for me to say you're going to get this much, I can't do it. I'm lying to you.